Today in the Daily Dose, the first battle of the Marne. In a war that most Europeans thought would be short and decisive for the Allies, the first battle of the Marne changed all that less than a month after the start of World War I. Following the Germans' advance across Belgium and northeastern France, by the end of August, German forces were 30 miles from Paris. After securing victories at Lorraine, Ardennes, Charleroi, and Mons, known collectively as the Battle of the Frontiers, predicting that Paris would fall to the Germans by September 5th, French General Joseph Simon Gallieni convinced French Commander-in-Chief Joseph Joffre to reposition Manoury's Sixth Army in defense of the French capital. Known as the First Battle of the Marne, when German General Alexander von Kluck disobeyed orders to break off his pursuit of the retreating French Fifth Army and instead lend support to General Karl von Bülow's exhausted Second Army at the Marne River. On September 4, 1914, after the chief of the German general staff, Helmut von Moltke, was briefed on Kluck's disobedience, he was also apprised that his armies at the Marne had overrun their supply lines in their rapid advance on Paris. Fearing a French attack on the First Army's exposed flank, he ordered a halt to the First and Second Army's advance on Paris. His orders would come too late, since Gallieni was already on the move, supported by Allied troops from the British Expeditionary Force, led by Sir John French. Two days later, some 150,000 soldiers of Manoury's Sixth Army attacked the German First Army's right flank, opening up a 30-mile gap in the German front line, which allowed the French Fifth Army and the British Expeditionary Force to simultaneously pour through the gap in a frontal assault on the German Second Army. Bloody fighting would continue over the next several days, including a September 7th troop reinforcement of 6,000 French soldiers who arrived at the front lines in a convoy of Parisian taxicabs in support of Manoury's now exhausted men. As for the equally weary German armies, on September 9th, Moltke ordered a full retreat toward the Aisne River, joining the first and second armies in a trench warfare standoff that would last well into 1918. The Allies' successful check of the Germans' advance on Paris made for one of the most decisive victories in the history of human warfare, marking an end to the Germans' two-front Schlieffen plan, at the same time setting the stage for a trench war standoff that would take the lives of 20 million soldiers and civilians before its end. And there you have it. The First Battle of the Marne. Today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with the Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.